And now, for those players who uh, become Divas representatives, either at the junior level, so CJ's already played. So when you stop, that's when hard coach, I can, you know, triple cross over, beat my man and get to the rack. So can a thousand other guys. But they can't pick up the ball 94 feet. They won't dive for a loose ball. They won't box out. They won't pursue a rebound if it's not in their cylinder. They won't run the lane to help their teammate create space. If you don't do those things, you might be able to play basketball, but you're not a basketball player. You really need to understand the difference. And I'm looking for basketball players or talented players who want to become basketball players. So if you've got great skill, great talent, great athleticism, and a strong desire to learn, you can become a basketball player. But if you're just looking for YouTube highlights, there's a whole lot of doors in this building. And nobody's going to force you to stay. I really need you to hear that message if you want to play at the next level. I really need you to hear that. Stop listening to YouTube coaches. Start listening to your coach. And if your coach isn't telling you how to become a basketball player by doing the 95%, find a new coach. He or she is only teaching you how to shoot and dribble. Find a new coach. All right? I didn't come here to make friends. I didn't come here to be anybody's pal. I came here to find players who are going to help me keep my job, put food on my table, and then I can help become a professional player and make an incredible living for themselves and their families and their future. That's why I'm here. All right? So, in this session, what do I want to see? I want to see your eyes. I want to know, without doubt, that you're hearing what I'm say, saying. I want to see effort. And I want to see leadership. If you get what I'm saying and somebody else doesn't, help them. Don't criticize them. You're not perfect. I will be the critic. You lead by helping people. Let me say that again. If you get what I'm saying in the drill, and you see somebody else that doesn't, help them. Don't criticize them. That's how you make teammates for life. Not for a few minutes. When people see you serve one another, make teammates for life. Those are called friends. That's one of the greatest things about sports is you make friends for life. But they got to be real friends, not fake. Okay, we all good? You all understand? Okay? I'm not a PT. I'm not a physical trainer. I'm a basketball coach. You guys should all know how to take care of your bodies. We're going to go. We're going to go pretty hard. Pretty hot in here. All right? So I'm going to give you five minutes to warm yourselves up and stretch and get ready. Take your magic balls, put them over here, and spend a bit of time in your own world thinking about what I said. Stretch, move, and then we're going to go right from the start 100%. Everybody got it? All right, let's go. Three balls over here.
I need three basketballs going both ways. We're going to have two lines, okay? So just come over here, give us a basketball. Okay. This is a real simple drill, all right? This is a transition layout drill. We're going to go full speed. So I pass the ball, I'm going to shoot. Now, here's the difference between the way you normally do layups and the way I want. From the moment you're going to take off running, so I'm going to pass ahead like that. From the moment I pass, I'm going to make a full sprint like I'm a 100 meter runner at the Olympics. And, watch out, I'm not actually going to do it. So I'm going to get the ball back somewhere below the free throw line, so you're going to hit me with the pass. At this point, what a lot of you guys do when you're going to take a layup, we hear your feet. You're slowing down, you're putting on the brakes. We don't want to hear your feet. We want to see you accelerate up and forward. So we want... See the difference? So, my weight's going back. Accelerating, up. All right? Now, I don't care, I do care if this layup, I want you to try to make it, but don't slow down. Just don't slow down. Now you're going to find out if you can do this or not. Because when you slow down in transition, whether you're coming off the pass, right, and I slow down to lay it up, I give that time to the defense. If I accelerate, go this way, I take time away from the defense. We don't want to give time to the defense. Okay? Three balls going both ways. We'll start with the ball on the right hand line. There you go. Enjoy the ball. Uh -huh. Lion's here. Here. We call this pro lane. Good, great job. Great job, Jeremy. Good, stay with us, stay with us. Stay with us, stay with us. Stay with us, stay Good, very good. Good, this time hard. 
I want a high percentage shot. Make your layup. Okay? Now we're going to do a double crossover. Again, guys, you're not waiting until the rebounder clears out. I want a clean basket so when you go, you can focus on the rim. So now we're double cross, okay? Now you can here, now I'm going this way. Okay? Can be double cross in front of you there and there. I don't care, but it's two crossovers. You guys should learn that when you're crossing a defender, that is the point of attack. Okay? That is the point at which the ball is vulnerable, but so is the defender. Okay. So I'm setting him up and he's not fighting, okay? So don't fight on my cross. Okay? Then I want to go back. Okay? But he's not fighting because he's gonna try and steal the ball. So he crosses, he's there, cross back. He's waiting on your cross to take the ball. So that's where you've got to be clever, you go there, there. Okay? So got to get that second cross action. It might be only the face there, okay, but you've got to get the second cross action. Try and attack outside, but the defender's going to cut me off. You are coming in at the same time to set a screen. Coach, can we get those phones out of there? Get those out of there, please. Thank you. You're coming in to set a screen. Okay. So I'm driving down here. Jab. That's important. You jab hard to the outside as you arrive. Okay. Now, what do you want to do? As a ball screen guard and a sideline screen, you want to attack the elbow. Okay? So I don't care whether you go behind your back, I don't care whether you go between your legs and cross or straight crossover, but now you're going through the elbow. Okay? Now let's change your angle just a little bit. Okay? You want to be square to the sideline. So when you come in and set the screen, get wider. I know you're not a big Okay? So now we're going to do what's called a closed roll. Okay? So if I go here and you drop your shoulder, that's an open roll. Okay? If you go that way, it's a closed roll. And I'm looking here. Okay? We're not going to make that pass. I need to coach right up here on the elbow with the ball. Okay? Come on into the elbow. Yep, right there. So this is what the drill is going to look like. Jab hard, full speed, cross, attack through the elbow. If I can get into the rim with him rolling, that's what we want to do. Okay? Now, as I attack down, you lift up. Because it's going to be, what's your name? Kids, defender that helps on the roll, okay? So the play that we want to make, coach is going to make a bounce pass for a layup to the roller. 
Okay? Pay attention to what we're going to do. I, I need another coach with another ball. Coach, can you get a ball? Please? Awesome. Okay? So while you're making that pass, you're going to score and get rid of that ball. Okay? You're going to stay there. Stay there. Roll, score. I'm coming here. I'm making a pass here. Okay? Now, the only pass I do not want is a hook pass. I don't want that. Okay? So, you come in here, you can shoot that. Okay? You come in here, you can jump, throw there. Alright? Or you come in here, you can stop and make a chest pass. I don't care. One of those three. Alright? You show me that you can play this game without throwing sloppy hook passes. You're going to shoot the ball. Now, you're going to rebound the ball if you get the rebound in the paint. I get the rebound in the paint, I'm going straight back up, put it in. If I rebound it out here, I'm done. Rotate. All right? We're not scoring unless we rebound in the paint. But if you get that rebound in the paint, go right back up, put it in. Okay? Got that? That's your job. All right? The second that you shoot, you become the next rebounder. Okay? I'll show you how it works. So I'm the guard. I make a pass. Okay? So you can go over there. Okay? Now when you shoot, you're going to rebound my shot. Okay? Now you're going to break to the coach. Here. Rip. Pull up. Here. And you're rebound. Same thing. The rebound outside the paint. You're done. Inside the paint. You get it? Okay? Four. Now, what are we working on? Ball screen, fundamentals. How do you pass on the two to three? Rolling, fundamental. Rebounding, instinct. You guys, wings and big, don't learn to pursue rebounds. You are a worker rebound. In other words, if you only rebound your cylinder, where you're standing, you're worthless. You're the easiest guy in the world to box out. Right? So when you shoot and you're a wing, get in there and be a rebounder for the next shot. So everybody understands the drill. Okay? Guard, come down, jab, use the screen, throw back, go get the ball, rip, take a couple of dribbles, jump shot, okay? You have the rebounding rotation. So if I'm the roller and I lay it up, I gotta make sure I get rid of that ball and now I'm looking for the next rebound. Okay, I rebound, score, get out. Now Keenan's gonna rebound the guard shot. Then we rotate. Okay? Some of our bigs that are actually guards, just tell one of the other guards, come in here and be a big. So you get both skills. Spence, Gabe. Jordan, you guys stay in the big man role. CJ, do both. Okay? Everybody got it. Sam, do both. Okay? A, do both. Okay, let's get organized. This side down here, that side down here. All right, let's get to work. Let's go. Okay, hold up. If we want to do things in slow motion, I'll get Walt Disney to come help. Alright? We're going freaking as hard as you can go. Do it again as hard as you can go. You don't roll until you fuck off. Okay? Now let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
not fake, it's real. When I say I care, when I say I love, it's real. I love God, it's real. Don't just say it. You've got to understand the difference. And if you care about something, you want to know all about it. Well, John Wooden, arguably the greatest coach ever, he said, passing is the most important and least practiced fundamental of the game. Does that make sense? If something is the most important, is it possible that it is the least practiced? Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense, does it? Well, about, in almost any team in the world right now, about 50 to 80% of every basket comes off an assist. Starting to think passing is a bit more important now. Championship teams are usually between 75 and 90 percent of baskets come off of assists. Think passing is important? Let me show you now how unimportant it is to you. This is why you should work on it. Okay? Give me three balanced lines. How about we get some leadership and we get these three lines balanced? Three point line, three point line, mid line. Okay, we got a ball, we got a ball. Okay? Uh, we're gonna start with two balls. We'll put that one down. Okay? Now, here's the drill. If the ball hits the floor, I want all three of you to get off the court and come back and get in line. Okay? Everybody got that? So don't recover and keep going. Hit the floor, get off. Next group will go. Here's how simple the drill is. The outside guys, if you're not passing the ball, you're dribbling. If it's your turn to pass, you come off the dribble and you pass the ball. Okay? The middle man, you don't dribble. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass here, look here. Okay? When I look here, there should be a pass coming. Okay? I'm going to look, I'm going to go back to you, look here, back to you, look here, okay? Now, if you're smart in the middle, you're going to run in a little bit of the zigzag. So by the starting here, I'm going to go towards him, I'm going to go here, then I'm going to come over here, there, I'm going to go over here, there, I'm going to go over here, there, okay? If you're not passing, you're dribbling. Nobody's traveling with the ball. Okay? If you fumble the ball, wings or middle, get off. Clear? Once you go up and back. Three. Stay outside the three-point line. All the way down. Clear? When you get back here, we're going to rotate from your right to the next line. That line to here, line to here, that line over there. Clear? See how we do it. All here. All right here. Okay. Don't try. Ready? Let's go.
ball. Okay. What's the other thing that's missing? Sometimes. Sometimes we're getting in tight. How fast do you think you're meant to do that drill? Sorry? How fast? Yeah, sprint. Okay. And you guys are more at a controlled pace. You don't know the drill, right? But you don't play the game of basketball effectively at practice pace. Have you ever heard of the term game speed? Right? Let me tell you this. There's your speed. Then there's my practice speed, which is a bit different. Then there's game speed, which is even more different. And then there's something called championship speed. You should learn to practice at championship speed. You're going to make a lot more mistakes, but you're going to get a lot better. You're going to get a lot more fatigue, a lot more quickly, which is going to get you in much better shape. Championship is where you want to be. Understand? Okay. Now, I'm going to describe something to you. I'm going to show you and you're still going to have a hard time doing it. Okay? Because your habits sometimes take over when you're under a bit of pressure. There's a lot of cuts that you can make in basketball. If I cut here, and what's your name? Jesse. Jesse. And Jesse's going to pass me the ball, okay? I'm making what's called a deep cut. I'm going here and passing the ball, okay? This is a deep cut, okay? Anybody know what this cut is called? Okay? We call it a shallow cut. Usually in the transition drill, we call it a flat cut. If it's in a half-court offense, usually it's called a shallow cut. Okay. So it's more across, not down the floor. We're going to make shallow cuts in this drill. Okay. So if you find yourself running down the floor, you're already screwed up. Okay? Give me five lines. Side lines. Outside the pro lane, here, about right there. Okay, outside the pro lane, or outside the pro lane. Okay, we're going to run a five man weave. How many of you have never done this? Excellent. Okay, so we're going to make a cut, a pass to a shallow cutter. Okay, all right, if he's close to me, I'm not going to knock him down. I'm going to make a good, efficient pass, okay? And then I'm gonna go behind that entire side and touch the sideline. We're gonna make a shallow cut, flat cut, okay? And go behind and touch the sideline. You're already cutting the flat, okay? Flat, 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 flat. Okay, come back. That's excellent. Okay. Now, right, this guy. Oh, yeah, you guys know where the sideline is?
Now, let me, let me put that in really clear terms for you. I'm telling you to go at championship pace, all right? What's more important to you as a basketball player, to be in the starting five or be in the finishing five? <laughs> finishing five, right? When the game's on the line, you want to be out there, yes? Right? It doesn't really matter in the starting five, but that's what you guys are doing here. You're in a rush to be in the starting five. And it doesn't really matter. Why does it matter how quick we start? Doesn't matter how quick we do the drill and how correct we do the drill. And we see it all the time with young players. You hurry, but you're not quick. So you hurry to start, but then you're slow in your passes and slow in your running. Because you're trying to control and not drop the ball and not lose it. Well, the smart thing to do is to be organized and then be quick. The organization in the beginning means you're thinking at the beginning of the play. Most guys just go and they forget to think, and then when they need to think, they're already going too fast. And that's where the mistakes happen. Understand? So you want to learn to be organized, then be quick. And as a coach, that's what you want. You want the point guard to come up the floor, organize the play, everybody knows what's happening, then be quick into the play. Because if he rushes, the players aren't in their positions and they don't know what's going on, then the play is going to be a disaster. Probably a turnover or a bad shot. Why? Because there was no organization. Same when you're doing drill. You want to do the drill well. Not start the drill fast. Nobody said, be quick into the drill. So be organized, then be quick. Okay? And that's going to help you, especially because you're not a team. You don't really know each other that well. So be organized first. Okay? Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going three on two. I'm sorry, we're going five-man weave, and then three on two coming back. Okay? So now, the guy that lays it up, and the guy that gives the assist to the layup are on defense. Understand? The other three are on offense. Now, think with me for a second. If you just did this drill right, how many guys on the layup are rebounding the ball? One. Right? One. Now, the layup guy's not rebounding it. He's sprinting back on defense. The assist guy gives the pass, he's going back on defense, talking to the layup guy. What's he saying? I got ball, you take ball, I, you know, I don't know. But he should be talking. Okay? So those two are going back on defense. One guy should be getting the layup, the rebound. What should the other two wings be doing? Get the hell down the floor. All right? Because if I've got to dribble the ball down the floor because my wings are right here with me, we're not going to have a two-on-one at the other end, which is what we want. So I want to be able to get the rebound, turn out the ball, and you've got a two-on-one now against the assist guy while the layup guy is sprinting to try and help out. I'm trailing to be the trail offensive player. Ideally, that's how it works. If we see this, if we see the rebound guy get it, push it, it's not even a fast break anymore. It's a, I want to dribble the ball drill. Right? But if I'm the assist guy and I'm on defense, now I'm watching. Who's he going to pass it to? Maybe I can steal the pack. Right? You play this game every second you're in the game. You never take a break. Never take a break. You always want to be a force and a factor. So don't just jog back and not say anything. Man, play defense from the second you're on defense. Understand? Last rule of the drill. Once the ball crosses half court, okay, in the three on two, you're only allowed a maximum of two passes. So if I dribble it across, one, two. If I pass it and he passes it across, now you can only pass it two more times. Why? Because in a game, transition defenders will be there by that time. So we want to keep it game-like. There's a fast break. We want to create that two-on-one, 
and score. Offense, you should not be taking jump shots in this drill. Defense, you should be trying to disrupt as best you can. Don't concede anything. Okay? So we go five man weave, three on two. Everybody else, make sure you're well back so these guys can fight for that bucket.
Alright? You understand? Okay. Now, what we're going to do next, we're going to start working a little bit. I want to see your defense. Okay? The first thing we're going to do is called driving line. Okay? We're going to go, we'll go back to where we were at the beginning. Alright? And grab the ball from Alright? The offense is going to start one foot in the back court. Okay? And I got five dribbles to get a jump shot. Not to go to the rim. I don't want you going to the rim. I want you getting the defender out of position and pulling up and taking a jump shot. Clear? Okay? Because by the time you're 15 years old, if you haven't started working on your jump shot, you're just a set shooter. Unless you're a big, if you're just a set shooter, you're putting a big limitation on yourself in this game. But like you're, you're like sending a message out, I'm not really interested in playing at the highest level. So I want to see your jump shot. Whatever you got, it looks like a jump shot. So from here, you got five dribbles. Okay? When you start, you get to a jump shot. Okay? But there's a defender there. Alright? So what we're going to do, we'll take the ball there, pivot foot, front court, not pivot foot, back. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to say the defensive player has to be here at the blue line. That doesn't mean I got to stay here. So as soon as he starts his dribble, go ahead, I can, I can move into a defensive position. He's got five dribbles to get to a jump shot. I don't care where. Middle, outside. But here's what I want you to do as a defender. Okay? And this is the key. This is what I'm watching for. Number one, I want you to learn to pressure the ball without reaching for the ball. Okay? If he's going to turn it over to me, he's going to give it to me. He's not going to take it. Okay? So, what is pressure? Well, it depends really how good he is. Now, if I'm here and he's looking at me, he's under pressure. If I'm here and he's looking at me, he's under pressure. If I'm here, it's defense. And he's looking here, he's not under pressure. Because he's not worried about you. It's only when he starts to get here, now you've got him under pressure. Now protect yourself. Because when, as soon as I start to worry about him, I'm going to go around him. That's the moment when I'm in here. I'm, now I start here. Now you got to give me a little space. Because I'm going to attack him. And we don't want players to play defense and get beat. Okay? So if you come up here, you start now we're giving you some space. Okay? He's only got five dribbles. Right? Second, ball pressure first. Second, we want to staple the ball. So we do not want to allow the ball to go to the middle of the floor. We don't want that. That's where trouble is. Everybody got it? So, so if he's dribbling and I'm stapling, look at my position. Okay? We call this ice or glue to the sideline. We call this square to the rim. Stapling is in between. So now, if he wants to go to the middle, I'm going to cut him off. As soon as I cut him off, look at what he's got. Now i got to get off of him and protect against that. So as he crosses, i got to get down here and staple him again. Staple him again. Everybody understand? Now we're one on one. He's got five dribbles to get a jump shot. Now what? He, he's now going to pull up and take the jump shot. Okay? So go into your shoes. Right, he's going up, right? This is what most of you guys do. You go with your dominant hand. Most of you are right hand. It's a challenge. Okay? This brings this side of my body into that side of his body. So if I go for it, I end up fouling. Alright? You want to always challenge either square where 
no contact and then box out. Or if you're really, he's a really good shooter and you want to take a shot away, you're challenged outside the body. So you, if I fly by, I'm flying by his body. Compare it. I'm going to fly by. Foul. He goes up. I'm going to fly by. Whether I block it or not, I'm outside the body. So there's not going to be any body contact. What I want you doing in this drill is challenging outside the body here, but not flying by. Because when he shoots it, okay, when he comes down, I want him box out. I don't want a rebound. I want a box out. He can try to get the rebound, and if he gets around you, you haven't done your job. It doesn't need to be for five seconds. It only needs to be for about a second and a half. Right? Like one change of direction, you're done. Clear? Five dribbles on offense, pull up. Defense, pressure, staple, challenge, box. That's it. Got it? Okay. You guys.
drunken businessman one of two ways, outside and inside. Okay? If he beats him outside, okay, we want to execute, go ahead, come down. We want to execute what's called a dart cut, a dart. A dart cut. If he goes outside, the wave cuts right here. Okay? And you've got to take the cutter. You've got to leave him open. Okay? So when you drop, you better find the cutter. Okay? Jump, go back. Hey, back. If he beats the middle, okay? You're still going to help. So you're going to go up and hit. you're still going to drop. But now the dart is the corner. Okay? So, very easy. Out of this man's hand, I want to pass to a shot. It could be a pass, it could be a pass to a shot. You want to pass to a shot. If you can get access to the rim, you lay it up. Bad help. Everybody understand? Okay, so we're working on dark cuts. We're working on help and drop. Now, let's say Joseph can't get around Garrett. Okay, he tries him outside. Garrett cuts him off. Tries him inside. Garrett cuts him off. Stop. Okay, at that point, you break to the point. Okay, break to the point. We want to learn to deny that cut. Okay, so. Go back to you. All right, so if I'm driving in, I'm in here. I'm held position. He and break. I want to get all the way up and deny that. Okay? What you should do is push off and then have the chest. You have a target, pop out. You deny. Okay? Now, if we reverse it, CJ breaks up. Okay? You go space, you go space. You go to work one on one and we dart. Now, you are held. Okay? We can beat the guy beating. So you see, I want to see you play basketball now and execute some pressure. Then you beat a man one-on-one. -on -one. Then you pass. Then you defend. Then you help and cover. Okay? Let's watch these three see what we got. How about that left? Okay. That's bad defense. Go again. Good job, Joe. Hey, you got to stop the ball. Okay. Get out there. Get out there. Get out there. Okay. Let's go. Come on, Jared. Good. 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 No, no, no. Just shoot. Offense to defense. Defense off. Three new offense on. Let's go. Guys, come back on. We're going to make the spot. Take your off, look your off, offense off. Good, good help. Good help. Excellent. Good job. Switch. See you want to get further out. Clear them. Pressure, pressure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you moving? You're not the dark. Middle penetration, baseline dark. You're not the help. Get over on the wing. On the wing. All the way on the wing. Staple the ball. Don't let him beat you middle. Pressure. 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 Good. 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 Reverse. Reverse the ball. Space. And then you attack, Sam. Come on, guys. This isn't difficult. Over there. Go again. Good D. Come on, Luke. Come on, Luke. Good. Guys, it's not beat. You shouldn't get beat. Switch. Offense, defense. Blue, pressure. Blue, pressure. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Middle penetration. Guard. Okay. D. Ball further out. Luke, stay in front of the ball. Sam, face your man. Man, there, good. You know, Dan, dribble, dribble, dribble. Nothing, 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 nothing. Why are you helping? No need to help. He wasn't beat. All right, switch. Offense and defense. Good shot, Dan. Thank you. 
Good job. Come on, help the Get over there, cut him off. Go again. Go again, Ed. Come on, be aggressive, Sam. Get over there and cut his ass off. Let's go. Get over there, get over there, get over there. Good, shot. You took a good one, then now you got a tough shot. You got a wide open and shoot like that. You gotta have confidence in the show. Switch. Good, good. No need to help. That's a tough shot. Box him out. So we can rebound and go the other way. Box him out. Go again. George, you got to get better shots. Get a clean beat. Get a clean beat. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Good. Nice. Get in your man. See that? You're helping for no reason so he gets a clean look. Right? He's dead here. Yes, one on one. Now you just like your guy. You're ball oriented. Ball, 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 ball. You're taking a wide open three. All right, switch. Now, four shots. Go again. I don't think it's going to be four shots. How many guys are there for guarding when you shot? Three. Who's over? Learn to give the ball up at the right time. Let's go. Stop, stop. Did we ever say for you to pitch on defense? Did we ever say for you to say your job is to drop? If he's beat, we don't need you coming in here. Why don't you shot for Jared? Jared's a good shooter. That's three. Okay, go again. Your job is outside. Weak side. Guard it, George. Guard it. Guard it. George, pull out. Come on, box out, George. Go one-on-one -on -one again. George, spread, spread there. Spread, throw it to the wing. One-on-one, -on Jared, get over there. The help. Where's the help? See? No help. No drop. No box out. Box out. You cannot wait. Fellas, I'm telling you, that's not basketball. That's not basketball. If you don't know where your teammates are on the court, you don't know what the situation is in front of you, and you're just catching attack, that's street ball. That's all it is. It doesn't have another name. Right? And where you want to go, I hope, they don't play street ball. So if I'm you, I'm saying to myself, what, what's this guy saying? I mean, how does he know? How do I know? I've coached at an Olympics. I've coached at four world championships. I've coached professionally for 42 years. I know. I have lived a lifetime at the level that you dream about. I've lived there. I'm telling you, they do not play street ball there. They understand the court. They understand where their teammates are. So you guys have to start asking yourselves the question, what do I do when I catch the ball? What's the right answer? Anybody know? Okay. What's the first word you said? No, no, before, the next sentence. Look, okay? Look isn't good enough. What happens when you look? You should see. Because see infers that you're comprehending what you're looking at. It's sending you messages. You guys, boom, right away. You're not looking, you're certainly not seeing. Therefore, every time you put the ball down, you're going into two defenders almost every time. And then you're jumping up in the air and you're making a desperate pass. Which, when you're three on three, you're, it's gonna work a lot. When you're five on five and there's two more defenders out there, it ain't gonna work a lot. Now, are, are we giving you plays to run? Well, kind of. We said dark. 
But more important than that, we said, see when you get the ball. See. And the first thing you do when you catch the ball is you should square up the shooter. If you've got a shot and you can't make that shot, you ain't going to the next level. So you better be a catch and shoot guy. Now if the defender is in your grill while you're doing this, now you see. Where's everybody else? Now, I already know. Help's coming from there, he's gonna be open. That's basketball. That's what a basketball player does. A guy that plays basketball, he just catches it and puts it down. Because he thinks he's a basketball player, but he's not. All right? So again, we're talking about the 95% now. Not the highlight. Winning basketball. What coaches want and coaches select players. Okay? Go get a drink. See, you got no problem with the objective when it allows you to just do whatever the hell you want to do and just run. But as soon as the coach says we're going to work on the 95%, you're lost. Most of you can't even stick to that. Just reverse the ball, attack one on one, help, drop, dart. See, that's not hard, but that's not where your mind is. Your mind is, I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna show Coach Tab that I have the talent to play, to at, play at Ateneo. Not interested in talent. We could have spent 10 minutes in here and I can see who's talented and who's got potential. In 10 minutes, I can see that but I can't see what you know about the game. I can't see the difference between playing basketball and a basketball player. I don't know how hard it is for you guys to really grasp that, but it is everything. It is everything. And everything that you guys are watching in the NBA and watching in, on YouTube and all that stuff, that's already been accomplished by all those people. They're already there and past that. You want to be like them, but you don't want to take the time and practice to understand what it takes to be like them. I want you to be like them. That's why I give you this to do instead of coming in here and saying, let's scrimmage for three hours. You know why this was an invitation only? Because if it was an invitation only, there'd be a hundred Filipinos here. Most of them, I wouldn't care ever anything about as a basketball player because they never have a chance, ever have a chance. You were selected to be here to show me you know something about the 95%. That's why you're here. You're not here to come scrimmage. You come scrimmage, I can sit over there and have the afternoon off. And in five minutes, I can know who's a player and who's not. You guys get that? Like, I mean, you really got to get that. You're 15, 14, 16 years old. In two years time, guys, two years like that, you either got it and did it, or you didn't. And if you didn't, then you're gonna be playing rec ball, club ball, and you know, your dream moves on, you don't. And you know who your dream moves on to? A 13-year-old. 12-year-old. That's who your dream moves on to. And they have the right to it. You gave up your right to it. And they're either gonna do something with it or not. That's the way it works. I don't spend a lot of time here talking about work hard, work hard, work hard. I talk about becoming a basketball player. Now, just do a real quick self-assessment. Every time the ball was shot, did you pursue the rebound? Every time you were on defense, did you talk? Every time you were guarding the ball, did you try to control the ball, stay from the pressure? There's not many things I have to do. Right? And if you didn't, you came here to play 
I came here to find somebody who knows how to work at the game. That's what I came here for. Okay? Now I'm going to let you do what you want to do and, and watch. You're going to be real happy. You're going to run down. You're going to play. And, you know, you're going to dribble the ball like you don't trust that it's got air in it. Trust me, it's got air in it. You can pass it. It's okay to pass the ball. All right? And you're going to play, you're going to run up down the floor, and you're going to walk out of here tired, but are you going to walk out of here with a clearer understanding of what it takes to make a team like my team? And then when I come back next year, what am I going to see? The same? Or am I going to see guys that are like locked into my instructions and clear, okay, reverse the ball, bang, 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 you know, help, help. Now I'll see if guys can make plays against good people. Okay? And that's all right. It's a progression. That's all right. I knew that coming in. And that's why we ask for guys not 20 years old, not 18 years old, because you guys need time. But you don't need to waste time. You don't have that to waste. Okay? So we'll make... Uh, We'll make some teams of five now, all right? I'll let you get out there and we'll, we'll play games to four baskets. Who wins at four baskets? Control the court. Next team on. Got it? Just four baskets. Okay, Ash Joe there. My man right here, you can come right here. What's your name? If you didn't win, were you disappointed or were you like, that's okay? Yeah, man. Not okay. Now it might be okay for you. That could be a problem. That answer. Your coach. Okay, great. Is your coach good? <laughs>